Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Imagine driving in an unfamiliar city or taking a hike deep into the mountains, miles away from any familiar landmarks, yet still knowing exactly where you are, where you need to go, and the best route to get there. That's the magic of GPS, or Global Positioning System, a technology that has become so integrated into our daily lives that we often take it for granted. But how does it actually work? How can a small device in our car or phone pinpoint our location anywhere on Earth? And what's the story behind this seemingly magical navigation tool? In today's video, we're going to explore the fascinating science and history of GPS navigation, and how this revolutionary gadget has transformed the way we move around our world. The story of GPS begins with the Cold War, when the United States military needed a reliable system to navigate submarines carrying nuclear missiles. Back in the 1950s and 1960s, accurate navigation, especially in remote areas like the middle of the ocean, was incredibly challenging. The U.S. Navy first experimented with a system called Transit, which used a network of satellites to help submarines determine their location. It wasn't perfect, but it laid the groundwork for what would later become GPS. In 1973, the Department of Defense launched the Navstar GPS program. The goal was to create a system that could provide precise location data anywhere on Earth at any time, in any weather condition. The military had very specific needs. They wanted to know the exact position of troops, ships, and planes and guide missiles with pinpoint accuracy. To achieve this, they needed a system of satellites orbiting the Earth, constantly transmitting signals that could be picked up by GPS receivers on the ground. While GPS was initially developed for military use, the U.S. government decided in the 1980s to make it available for civilian use as well. It was a game changer. Suddenly, anyone with a GPS receiver could know their location anywhere in the world, which led to a rapid expansion of GPS technology into everyday life. Now let's dive into the science. How exactly does GPS know where you are? To understand this, we need to talk about satellites, time, and something called triangulation. First off, GPS relies on a network of at least 24 satellites orbiting Earth, spread out in such a way that, at any given time, there are at least four satellites visible from any point on the planet. Each satellite is equipped with a highly accurate atomic clock, which ensures that all satellites are synchronized perfectly. These satellites constantly send out signals that include their location and the exact time the signal was transmitted. When you turn on your GPS device, whether it's in your phone, your car, or a standalone unit, it starts listening for signals from these satellites. Here's where the magic happens. By measuring the time it takes for each satellite signal to reach your GPS receiver, the device can calculate the distance to each satellite. And using a process called triangulation, it determines your exact location. Essentially, it's like solving a puzzle where each piece, or satellite, gives the GPS a clue about where you are. And the more clues it has, the more accurately it can pinpoint your position. But it doesn't stop there. GPS can also calculate your altitude, speed, and direction of travel. All of this is made possible by those precise satellite signals and some clever mathematics working behind the scenes. Triangulation might sound complicated, but it's actually pretty straightforward when broken down. Imagine you're standing in the middle of a park and you want to figure out your location using landmarks. If you know you're 500 meters from a particular tree, that narrows down your location to a circle with a 500-meter radius around the tree. But that's not enough information to tell exactly where you are within that circle. Now, if you know you're also 400 meters from a bench, you can draw a second circle around the bench 
and where those two circles overlap gives you a more precise idea of your location. Finally, if you know you're 300 meters from a statue, the intersection of all three circles pinpoints your exact location. That's essentially how GPS triangulation works, but instead of landmarks in a park, it uses signals from satellites in space. To get the best possible accuracy, your GPS receiver needs signals from at least four satellites. The first three satellites help pinpoint your latitude and longitude, while the fourth helps determine your altitude, which is especially important for applications like aviation. One of the most important aspects of GPS is timing. The satellite's atomic clocks are incredibly precise, so precise that even a tiny discrepancy in time would result in a huge error in your position. For instance, a time error of just one microsecond, that's one millionth of a second, could mean your location is off by hundreds of meters. But here's where it gets even more mind-blowing. Because the satellites are moving at high speeds and are so far from Earth, Einstein's theory of relativity comes into play. Time actually passes more slowly for the satellites than it does on Earth. To account for this, the GPS system has to make adjustments to correct for these relativistic effects. Without these corrections, GPS wouldn't be nearly as accurate. When GPS first became available to the public, it was a luxury reserved for specialized devices, mostly used in cars, boats, and for outdoor adventures like hiking. But as the technology improved, GPS receivers became smaller, cheaper, and more widely available. The real game changer came with the rise of smartphones. Suddenly, everyone had a GPS receiver in their pocket, and apps like Google Maps and Apple Maps revolutionized how we navigate the world. These days, GPS is used for so much more than just getting from point A to point B. It's essential for things like precision agriculture, where farmers use GPS-guided tractors to plant crops with incredible accuracy. It's also used in logistics to track shipments, in aviation for navigation, and even in things like fitness tracking and geocaching, a modern-day treasure hunting game. GPS technology continues to evolve. Modern GPS systems are far more accurate than the original ones, and researchers are constantly working to improve precision even further. One exciting development is the integration of GPS with other navigation technologies, such as inertial navigation systems, to create even more reliable and accurate positioning. In the future, we may see new ways of using GPS for augmented reality experiences, self-driving cars, and even drone deliveries. As satellites become more advanced, we can expect to see improvements in everything from weather forecasting to disaster relief, where GPS can be used to coordinate rescue efforts in areas affected by natural disasters. From its military origins to its widespread use today, GPS has become an indispensable part of modern life. The science behind it, involving satellites, time, and triangulation, might sound complex, but it's all working seamlessly in the background, helping us navigate our world with ease. Whether you're using it to find the nearest coffee shop or guiding a plane across the globe, GPS has transformed the way we move through space. So the next time you open up your GPS app, take a moment to appreciate the decades of science and engineering that made it possible, and how this revolutionary gadget continues to shape our future. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.